As coverage about the coronavirus continues on, your child may be asking you some questions. News 10 reached out to area schools about steps they're taking to keep kids safe. One school told us some of the younger students are anxious when they hear about the virus. We told you on News 10 First at 5 about how to talk to your children. News 10's Tilly Marlatt brings us more on what one woman in the Wabash Valley is doing to protect her daughter. Hillary Frazier says the coronavirus is always in the back of her mind. Her daughter Hazel is seven months old. Frazier says she's doing what she can to keep her family healthy. If I'm going outside, I'm leaving my shoes at the door to not carry anything into the house. Um, even my work is taking a lot of precautions. Um, I'm a server in town, so we're wiping down our menus with sanitizer. We're wiping our tables down with sanitizer, making sure we're washing our hands every 15 minutes. Area schools are also taking precautions, but for some elementary age students, the virus is causing some anxiety. The director of child and adolescent services at the Hamilton Center says parents must be educated about the coronavirus before talking with their children. If it is children who are younger, we want to make sure that we're having communication with children about um, language that is age appropriate for them. Make sure you talk to your child about the information that they are hearing about the virus. Just to listen empathetically with the children, to be able to hear what they're saying, to not dismiss their fears, um, is a big piece of helping them calm about the things that they are hearing about the coronavirus. Frazier says one way to reduce fear is making healthy choices a positive experience. We're their teachers until they're in the classroom, so what we do for them, they're going to continue on, you know. Prevention strategies that can help reduce fear and keep you healthy. In Terre Haute, Tilly Marlatt, News 10.